Welcome back. When you think football food, you might think pizza and wings, but don't forget about that sweet treat. I never do. We're back in the Fox 2 Cooking School with Bush's executive chef, Rebecca Waldron, who is going to make a game-winning dessert for us. Good morning. Uh, good morning. Glad to be back. Um, yes, we're going to be making some uh, pub brownies. Okay. And, I like um, where you're going with this. Well, you know, I mean, Super Bowl desserts, you know, usually by the time you get to that point right. in the evening, you've had all sorts of stuff. So things you can kind of grab are usually nice. So brownies are good, but we wanted to make these brownies a little bit special. Okay. And so um, I thought about, well, what could make these more special? And it is Super Bowl, and, you know, we're having a lot of kind of cool winter foods, and one of those is stout okay. beer which um, is a great combination with chocolate. It has that really kind of dark flavor profile, and so it blends really well with chocolate, and it makes the brownies so much more rich and delicious. And um, so what we did for these brownies was we reduced some stout beer. So um, our favorite to use for this is Arbor Brewing Company's Michael Ferris Stout. And they're great because they're local, right? Oh, they are. They are one of our most our, our best local partners. They are um, a great brewery. Matt and Renee Greff, the owners, are just, they're great people. They're foodies, and so we love using their products and okay. they make great beer. So, we reduced it, and what that means is that we boiled it down. So the alcohol is gone. Mm -hmm. So this is okay to feed kids. It's okay, you know, there's no, no alcohol left, but you've got that great stout flavor. Right. So, what we do is we have some reduced stout. So, what we've done is we have some sugar and eggs that we've kind of beaten in a mixer here. Okay. And what we're going to do, we're going to add to that, if I can, oops, wrong way, there we go, okay. What we're going to do is we're going to add vanilla, we're going to add that reduced stout, which is kind of syrupy, so we're going to add that in there, add some salt, and then we've melted some chocolate and butter, now so this is talking. beautiful stuff here. So this is the, the heart of the brownie. And while you're mixing that, how important is it, or are you hearing more and more people who are looking for a recipe like this, wanting to bring something a little more creative to that Super Bowl part? Exactly. You know, I mean, cookies, brownies, all of those things are kind of standard, but this is just kind of one of those things where, like the dips we were doing earlier, it's just one notch above. It's just right. a little bit more special. So what kind of chocolate did you use? Is that um, I use, or? oh, that's, I'm sorry, that's a uh, Ghirardelli, and that's a 60%, so it's kind of a bittersweet chocolate. All right. Okay. Um, so I like that bittersweet flavor. I'm going to add some flour, and we're just going to very, very briefly mix that in. We don't want to mix over mix it. And we've got this extremely rich brownie batter that looks so delicious. And so let me just turn my mixer off. And what I like to do with brownies and any kind of bar cookie is when you're making them, um, if you line your pan with parchment paper, mm -hmm. then it makes it so much easier to remove them. So we're going to kind of just take this parchment that we've lined our pan with and our deep dark brownies here. If and I you know when you start mixer. mixing the brownies, <laughs> Amy Andrews is going to sneak oh, her way I in. Oh, lick the mixer. <laughs> well, yes, there is that. And so, and these are so good. You can, and you can almost call them healthy because there's chocolate and you can make that argument. So we're just going to fold I make that so argument long. all the time, I, You know, it's why we even have to make that argument. Chocolate just, is healthy. Exactly. Bottom line. So what we're going to do here is we're going to spread our batter into this parchment lined pan. And at first, you know, when you use the parchment, you might think, oh, this is never going to work. You know, it's going to all fall apart. Right. But it actually works really, really well. It is always good to have somebody who kind of holds that. So that's going to go in the oven for about 40 minutes. Now, these are super fudgy brownies. Mm. And so when they come out, they're still going to be a little bit gooey. So you want to look for some cracks in the top. Okay. But they're still going to be kind of gooey. Um, so you want to make sure that you don't cut them right away. So I'm just going to pop these in the oven. And then we're going to, because a miracle has occurred, and we right. have a pan of finished brownies here. Uh, you're very good at that kitchen dance, by the way. I, you just well, move around me so effortlessly. It's the work <laughs> triangle. You know, it's, it's great. So um, what we have here is a pan of finished brownies, and you can see how easily you can just kind of pop them out. Okay, so you oh, don't have to easy. you don't have to dig them out of the pan with a spatula. So, and then I like to just take a knife and I'm going to. So the edges have a little bit of that Salvador Dali look, but other than that, they're actually pretty easy to pull out. And so nice we're going and soft. to yeah, we're going to cut those. 
just like that. And now to make these true pub brownies, what we wanted to do was add some toppings that were kind of fun. Okay. And so we've got some salty snacks. We've got some caramel corn. We have some honey roasted peanuts. We have some salted pretzels. So just kinds of things you would associate with um, pubs and in or your, your Michael Ferris stout or any great delicious stout beer. So I'm going to take my brownie here. Thank you. I love it. Oh, it. Now, you see, this is a very petite serving. Mm -hmm. Right. So we're, we're, we're going to go with a petite <laughs> serving, but That's you can go with a That's just to get more. you ready. Some beautiful Guernsey ice cream. So we're going to put that right on top. Wow, look at that. Mm, Delicious. And then we've also made a uh, syrup, or a, um, a sauce, I should say, over here. And what this is, is more of that reduced stout beer. And to that, we've added chocolate. Just to drizzle that yeah, on top and there. And some heavy cream. Very good. Well, listen, so to get, get the rest of this recipe, you're going to have to log on to our website. Rebecca, I'm sure you won't mind to leave that with us, will oh, you? Oh, not at all. Enjoy. All right. We have more of that on our website, myfoxdetroit.com. We'll be right back. Stay with us. Thank you so much.